what is up guys i do hope you're well and welcome to another video of entitled parents if you are new here please consider hitting that like that subscribe button maybe the notification bell and joining us on discord as we'd love to have you there now let's get straight into the good stuff mom he's literally seven so for a bit of background i attend a weekly boxing class at the gym my parents work at occasionally it's technically an adult class, however, since my parents know the people there and also teach them classes there, I, a 14 year old, get a pass on that. Occasionally, some parents ask the teacher in charge if their kid can go to the boxing classes, but for pretty much anybody who doesn't have contacts with the gym owner or the teachers, and if it's a kid under 15, it's generally a no. So basically, here's how the shit went down. I'm getting some water after warm up, and this mum, EM, comes up to me. Hey, so how old even are you? I can get where this question comes from because I'm really short, 5 foot 2 to be exact at the moment. So naturally I respond, oh I'm 14, I'm just sort of short. I thought the interaction would end at this point, but no. Oh that's funny, but anyway I was wondering if okay, overweight kid, could join your karate class. She seemed like the typical type of mum that would come to our gym because their kid wanted to learn some sort of martial art like boxing, Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu, which are offered at the gym. These types of parents were common. So I figured I would just politely correct her as it was a boxing class and ask how old the kid was. Well, it's an adult's boxing class, so your kid has to be at least 15. I get an exception because my parents get some money here to teach and compete. What? It was at this literal moment I knew I just had unleashed a beast known as Karen. <laughs> what do you mean he has to be at least 15? Overweight kid is athletic and should be in your class. Where might he be at this moment? I don't know, maybe he is athletic. Entitled mum does this big ass dramatic sigh. He's in the waiting room. Sure enough, there's a kid in the waiting room, but he's certainly not athletic. He's sort of chubby and looks maybe about eight at the most, and he's glued to a tablet, oblivious to the world around him. I'm sorry, but your child looks very young and he doesn't seem very athletic. He can't join the class. Are you kidding me? So my seven-year-old can't join the class, but you, a 10-year-old, can? That's shit. You know what? Maybe you are 14, but maybe you're just a tranny and that's why you're so short. I actually am trans. So this hits me like a ton of bricks, but needless to say, she stormed off after that. Admittedly, I was sort of salty, so I flipped her off as she left. But needless to say, it's kind of sad how we get parents like this all the time. I never really got to experience one of these stereotypical jujitsu parents that every teacher and coach at the gym complains about, but I guess there's a first for everything. <laughs> My limp makes me a bad influence. For context, I walk with a small limp because of damage I received to my knee when I was hit by a car when I was 15. It only hurts when I try to walk correctly or stand in one spot for too long. The pain includes sharp stabby pains and burning sensations. This happened yesterday when I went out for a walk with my roommate, T. I wanted to go to the oriental market across town. I never walk alone because I freak out when I'm left by myself out in the open. Anxiety. I don't drive because of my knee pain and my roommate doesn't drive because even she agrees that she's too spacey to be trusted behind the wheel. This walk takes us a little over an hour, but we don't mind, it's nice to get out for a walk. As we walked out of the residential areas and into the busier side of town, we take notice of a father and daughter, six or seven maybe, walking behind us. My roommate and I ignored them for the most part, but I could hear the girl ask her dad why I was walking funny. He told her that I was just playing around. She must have started imitating me because he told her to stop. When we got to a busy intersection, my roommate and I stopped and waited for the light to change. As we waited, I kept shifting my weight from one foot to the other to reduce the chance of getting pain in my knee. The man and his daughter stopped right beside us. It was quiet for about a minute before the dad spoke up. ED, entitled Dad, LG, little girl. Would you mind standing still and not wiggling your hips in front of my daughter? Oh, I'm just shifting. I get pain in my knee if I put weight on it for too long. We can move back for you two to be ahead of us. My roommate and I turned to walk around the two, getting behind them. We didn't really mind, but the little girl watched us walk around them. Dad, she's still walking funny. She seemed to think my limp was amusing. She tried to imitate me again. Stop trying to copy her, he turned to me. Don't play around like that in front of my daughter. She might hurt herself by copying you. You're being a bad influence. I'm not playing around, I have a limp. You're too young to have a limp. I actually get this all the time. Older people saying I'm too young for such and such injury, blah, blah, blah. She was hit by a car when we were teens. Her knee was damaged. I didn't believe that for a second. You don't need to believe it. It's my injury. At that time, the light changed and my roommate pointed that out. The guy and his daughter crossed the street ahead of us. 
I saw the girl trying to imitate my limp again. I thought it was really cute actually. Maybe she just had never seen someone with a limp before. Again, you can sort of, <laughs> you can understand the curiosity of a child and trying to imitate a limp and stuff. Children do that stuff all the time, mainly out of curiosity. But the parent, I mean, come on, come on. The child doesn't really stand much of a chance when they have a parent like that in their lives, do they? An influence like that. To send that person the bad influence when the parent is just a piece of shit. <laughs> EP lets sick kid loose on a cruise, ruins everyone's vacation. So this happened a while ago. I'm going on another cruise soon and sharing old stories and realise that this one might make a good post on Reddit. Not sure if it fits exactly under entitled parents, so apologies if it doesn't belong here. Another sorry for the length and that there's no dialogue. I can't remember that there's too much. It's more of a situation that went out of hand and what the parent did than what the parent said. This is my first post here. I hope you enjoy. Two or three years ago, I went on a cruise with my mother and my friend with his mother. We grew up together as our families are really close. So we're practically like siblings. This was an eight day cruise departing from New York City, going around the Caribbean and then going back up. The ship was one of those really nice famous ones with tons of restaurants, pools, water slides, etc. Had a capacity of over 2,000 guests. On the second day, our parents made friends with another group of families and we decided to head out together that day once the boat had pulled into port. We met at breakfast to plan the day. There was quite a few families with younger kids and of course all the young kids left to their own discretion at open buffets were wild and kind of gross. Later on, I overheard one parent, EP, complaining to someone about their kid. Apparently kid wasn't feeling well and had wanted to come, but EP didn't want to leave them behind to laze around in their room. They had spent so much money to go out and have fun. I didn't think of it as something too serious, so we carried on. Around halfway through the day, while hiking in the middle of nowhere on some small mountain, I started having serious stomach cramps. They got to the point where I'd have to stop and breathe every 10 minutes or so. My mum and my friend decided to leave the rest of the group to help me back to where our tour bus was waiting as I was clearly in no condition to continue hiking. It took us a while since I was in so much pain but eventually we got back on the bus where I could attempt to sleep and wear it off. We assumed I'd gotten food poisoning or ate something bad. What I hadn't known and found out later was that the fucking kid from earlier wasn't just not feeling well, he had norovirus. The symptoms include severe vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, muscle aches, fever and fatigue. It can last days, which doesn't seem long, but keep in mind that this is an eight day cruise and is extremely contagious, especially in close quarters. Well, guess what? We just happened to be in a closed off ship with thousands of people with open buffets just waiting to be contaminated. By the next day, the third, I wasn't the only one not feeling well. Everyone in our room had got it. My mum, my friend, his mum. There was a small line in front of the clinic by the time we got there, including a couple of families who went on the hike with us. Literally everyone was suffering from similar symptoms. The medical staff gave us some sort of Tylenol-esque medication and told us to stay in our room for the next while so we didn't pass it on to anyone else. We listened to them, EP did not. EP continued to take their kid around the water slides, buffets, shows, despite everyone warning her not to. Her son was still very much sick, but she wanted to have the best experience on his first cruise ever. On the fourth day, word of mouth told me that it was quickly spreading. The crew started offering free movies and in-room catering for those who were sick in a futile attempt to keep them in their rooms. Live shows were cancelled because even the performers were getting sick. On the fifth day, the crews announced that they could not dock the ship on the stop of the day. Local authorities had heard that the outbreak and forbode us from entering the port. Everyone was in a lot of pain. I could barely hold down water without throwing up, felt dizzy if I did much as stand up, and just in general felt like utter absolute shit. I had Tylenol and rest though, and by about the sixth day, both my friend and I were well on the mend. We dared to spend a few minutes outside. No openable windows in the room made us crave fresh air. The population outside was decimated. If you've never been on a cruise before, it's like a mall on Boxing Day. There are people everywhere talking and laughing and eating, doing whatever you do on a cruise. But that day, the ship was almost empty, other than some employees wearing gloves and face masks and a lucky few stragglers. We probably saw around 100 to 200 people in comparison to the 2,000 person capacity. In order to have a good time, EP let her kids spread the virus to almost everyone on the ship. There is no vaccine for norovirus, so literally nobody could have been safe. Not to mention, cruise ships always have many retired elderly with low immunity levels. She just didn't ruin literally everyone's vacation. She put people at genuine risk as well. I don't think her son should have been allowed to board the ship in the first place if they had known he was sick. 
as I believe there were some sort of regulations about bringing contagious diseases into closed environments. Anyway, moral of the story is this, don't take your sick kids on vacation. If you do have to, for some reason, at least leave them in the room and let them recuperate instead of passing it around. It's not only better for everyone else, it's better for them too. Oh my God. Do you know what came into my head when I was reading this? I was thinking of that game, um, that mobile game. Is it Plague Inc. where you have to actually spread the virus yourself? That's the beginning of it. <laughs> Aunt expects me to pay for ice cream I can't afford. Starting off with a customary statement about how I'm on mobile, so sorry if the formatting is BS. My aunt used to take me out with my cousins quite often. My cousins are the sweetest little things, but they're a handful, and I'm about 8 years older than them, so I would be able to help out with them where I could. One time during the summer, she asked if I wanted to go to the beach with her and her kids, since it was a nice day and my cousins had been begging to go for a while. I figured she just wanted an extra pair of hands, but I liked the beach so I agreed to come along. I've been entertaining them while my aunt got some time to relax, but about an hour or two after arriving at the beach, cousins decided that they were going to start pestering my aunt about ice cream. There was a truck nearby, one of those types that just sort of sits there all day. May as well just have been a permanent ice cream store. So I offered to run out and check out the prices. Because it's right by the beach, ice cream is stupid expensive. But I have some money so I figured I could pay for it on my own. I went back over and said, it should come to about £7.50 for you three. I'll pay for my own. Little did I know, I had just opened up the gates of hell. EA entitled aunt. Me, me. You have your own money. Yeah, stuff at the beach is expensive. Why didn't you offer to pay for our things then? I'm sorry, I only brought enough money for to pay for my stuff. You didn't even think the boys would want snacks too. How selfish. Excuse me? I bring you to the beach for a nice day out and you don't even offer to pay for our things. At this point, I didn't know what to say. I was basically babysitting her kids for free and I still decided to pay for my own stuff. I didn't know what she wanted from me. I'm sorry, I just thought paying for my stuff would make things easier. Paying for all our things would make things easier. You're just being selfish. Um, well I have the money for two. I could buy the kids ice cream, you'd have to pay for your own. No, you're gonna pay for everything. Bitch, I just said I could afford two. You want to put an extra five pound out of my ass or something? I can't pay for everything, I can only afford two ice creams. Just haggle with the ice cream man. You're a cute girl, you can probably get them for free. Excuse me? Go and get us all ice cream and then you're gonna keep watching the boys. By now, I was out. This bitch crazy. Later kids, have fun dealing with your insane mother. No, I'm going home. No you're not, you're gonna go and get us ice cream. As this banshee woman screeched down my ears, I started packing up my beach town in my bag and walked off with my money and my pride. I got the bus home and haven't properly spoke to my aunt since. I shouldn't think so, that bitch is crazy. I think that it was the word she tries to say to her like, go and haggle, you're a cute girl. Like, go and flaunt yourself. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Who needs an aunt like that? <laughs> Once again, guys, thank you so much for being here. It's really appreciated. The channel is just growing massively. And all I can say to you guys is thank you. you. Yeah, you're amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Take care now. Goodbye.